Some of y'all need new friends. You need some new folk to hang out with. You need some folk that's going to challenge you to live the life that God has put before you. Everyone needs at least one friend that will say we need to take the limits off. When we talk about being bound, oh glory to God, it's how you grow. It's how you develop. And the enemy wants us to remain stunted in our growth. In the name of the Lord, he wants us to stay in the same place that we were on January 4th of 2014. But you need to tell the devil on this Sunday morning, that's a lie from the pit of hell. The Lord wants me to advance. The Lord wants me to elevate. Here we go. I'm a praise. Come on. Clap
17th chapter. We're going to read the 14th through the 21st verse. Matthew, the 17th chapter, the 14th through the 21st verse. In the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I'll see you at communion in the name of the Lord at 5 p.m. on today. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, bless us. In your name that sits above every name, once again, the Lord Jesus Christ. Speak to our hearts. Speak to our spirit, Lord God. Let us hear a word from you that will encourage us, that will bless us to be the best that we can be for you. Remove every doubt and calm every fear. Stay the hand of the enemy. Let no one leave the same way they came. Let your word have free course today. Save someone. Fill someone with your spirit. Let someone meet you, Lord, today for the first time. And we'll continue to give your name thanks and praise. In Jesus' name, let everyone say amen. Matthew 17, beginning at the 14th through the 21st verse says, And when they were come to the multitude, there came to him a certain man kneeling down to him and saying, Lord, have mercy on my son, for he is a lunatic and sore vexed. For oft times he falleth into the fire and oft into the water. And I brought him to thy disciples and they could not cure him. Then Jesus answered and said, O faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer you? Bring him hither to me. And Jesus rebuked the devil and departed out of him and the child was cured from that very hour then came the disciples to Jesus apart and said why could not we cast him out and Jesus said unto them because of your unbelief for verily I say unto you if ye have faith as the grain of a mustard seed ye shall say unto this mountain remove hence to yonder place and it shall remove and nothing shall be impossible unto you how be it this kind goeth not out but by prayer and fasting before you sit down we've been saying it all for the last two day since watch night service tell your neighbor one more time take the limits off you need to tell one more person take the limits off point across the aisle and say take the limits off you may be seated when you can take the limits off you're going to find very soon if you haven't already that I'm very passionate about this subject about this vision that God has given unto us once again we're talking about taking the limits off and we find that the definition of a limitation, it's a limiting condition, a restrictive weakness, something that restricts you, something that weakens your ability. A limitation is something that lacks capacity. It exposes inabilities and it reveals handicaps. But how many know that God is a healer of our handicaps? 
Limitations can affect many areas of our lives. And we have to have the discernment of what kind of limitations we have. They can be spiritual, physical, emotional, they can be psychological, they can be personal, it could be a family limitation, it could be a financial limitation, it could be limitations on your job, it could be limitations in your education, it can be all kinds of things, but you have to discern for yourself the limits that you have. Limitations will reduce they will minimize, they will derail, they will cause one to abort their God-given purpose. Some of us allowed limitations in 2014 to hold us back from getting our double portion. In the name of the Lord, some of you saw that double portion spiritually, some of you saw it physically, some of you saw it in the areas that I mentioned. But we have to be mindful that God is still working on us. And we have to come to a decision. We have to come to a decision that we are going to take the limits off intentionally. No one can take the limits off for you. No matter how anointed your neighbor is, they can't take the limits off for you. No matter how anointed mom and daddy is, grandma is, and no matter how much they pray for you, at some point, you have to take the limitations that the enemy has put on you and you have to take them off. The only, we have to, I want you to listen to a few quotes here in the name of the Lord. They're not necessarily preachers or theologians, but these quotes make a whole lot of sense to me. Les Brown says, the only limits to the possibilities in your life tomorrow are the buts you use today. I think I will. The only limits to the possibilities in your life tomorrow are the buts that you use today. Well, I was going to do it, but. Well, I was going to let God use me, but. God gave me a word to do this or that, but. I was going to apply, but. I was going to do this or that, but. How many know we have to eliminate the butts? I'm not talking about cigarette butts either. I'm talking about those sometimes built-in excuses not to do what God has ordained you to do. How many know excuses are your enemy? In the name of the Lord, there will be a message about excuses very soon that deal with your limitations, our limitations. And let me say something to you. This message, this word is just as much for me as it is for you because every human being on the face of the earth has some kind of limitation. But we are going to get rid of the limitation and we're going to tell the devil in 2015, you've tried that already. I'm over that. You're going to have to try something brand new. Let me read this to you. I've missed more than 9,000 shots in my career. I've lost almost 300 games. 26 times I've been trusted to take the game winning shot and missed. I failed over and over and over again in my life. And that is why I succeed. I know you want to know who said it. Michael Jordan. Missed 9,000 shots. Now you can't you can't picture because every time you see every time you see the replays he's making the shots lost almost 300 games 26 times the ball was put in his hand to 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 shoot the winning point and he missed but he goes down in history as one of the greatest basketball players that ever graced the court what lets us know that failures does not mean that God is through with you.
I, I told you in the beginning of this service that challenges will come. I'll take that even further. Failures will come, but victory is next in line. And you need to give God a praise right there because there's someone in here that might feel like a failure going into this year, but victory is next in line. Glory to God. I want to revisit last week, brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Take the limits off and press. Everybody remember what press means? persevering, relentless, extraordinary, striving son of God. Position yourself that way as we go through the course of this year. You must come out of the box that you're in in this year. We often say that phrase, come out of the box or come out of your comfort zone only know only you know the box you're in you some people have put themselves in the box others have allowed other people to put them in the box but let the devil know I'm about to spread my wings and I need to take the limits off you can't fly in a box you can't spread your wings in a box your your anointing doesn't belong in a box the glory that God has placed upon your life doesn't belong belong in a box but I believe that all of us need to come out of the box and tell the devil and tell every demon in hell that I'm taking the limits off because God has more for me to do in 2015 don't major in minors don't major in what doesn't matter don't major in people that are not going to propel you into your future and divine destiny. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. We have to realize in the name of the Lord, sometimes we can see your future based on your friends. I know y'all don't like that. I know, I know. I, I can tell your future by who you hang out with in the name of the Lord. Let me get real with you in the name of the Lord. I can, I, I can tell your future by who you're whispering in the corner with in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. But you got to realize sometimes you got to change your friends in order to take the limits off because your friends are your problem in the name of the Lord. And the Lord said in 2015, get some new friends in the name of the Lord. Stop hanging out with buzzards and hang out with some eagles that want to go in the name of the Lord into a new dimension that want to fly above the storm not complain about the storm see the storm but say I'm gonna make it over because I'm taking the limits off will you allow me to talk to you this morning limitations will reduce limitations will reduce your value and contribution to the body of Christ. It's, this is the year you're going to make a contribution. This is the year that you're not going to look back and see what others are doing, but you are going to make a contribution. In the name, I want you to know, I want everyone in this room to know that you are on this team. You are on God's team. You are a part of God's body. We are a functional body. We are a powerful body in the name of the Lord. And we have to take the limits off so that our value can be increased. How many know that the devil wants to devalue you? He he wants to let you know that you are invaluable but you let the devil know I'm a son of God the last time I checked so I must be valuable tell your neighbor you are valuable if you are valuable make a contribution oh glory to God when you are under stress I want to tell you in the name of the Lord it does not mean that God don't like you it means he loves you because when coal gets under stress oh glory to God eventually over time the peace of coal becomes 
becomes a diamond in the name of the Lord you might be saying I'm shining but God is not through putting facets in your life in the name of the Lord how many know that there's cheap diamonds they're yellow diamonds they're diamonds that you, with you can't see through it and there's no clarity but the more pressure the diamond goes under the more facets it has in the name of the Lord women when you get engaged don't let the brother give you a cheap diamond it's got to be at least an I or J green it can't be a, a diamond in the name of the Lord forget the cubic zirconia but when you're under pressure the Lord is trying to put facets on your life that will give him the glory and the honor Galatians 5 and 1 says stand fast therefore in the liberty wherewith Christ has made us free and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage I want to say to some of you right now limits will put you in spiritual and natural bondage in the name of the Lord but I come to tell you it's time to let the devil know that you cannot bind me this is the year that God releases his glory because you're going to take the things off of you that are weighing you down it's time for you to flex your spiritual muscles with God's help and break the chains of limitation now don't let the chains hold you up but break them why because God doesn't mean for you to be bound when we talk about being bound it's all about what you say how many know that what comes out of your mouth can bind you what you experience can bind you oh glory to God some of us in 2014 were still caught in the same revolving door the same scenery and the Lord is saying I'm about to change your scenery and for that matter if I go back just a few moments he's going to change some of your friends in the name of the Lord some of y'all need new friends you need some new folk to hang out with you need some folk that's going to challenge you to live the life that God has put before you everyone needs at least one friend that will say we need to take the limits off when we talk about being bound oh glory to God it's how you grow and it's how you develop and the enemy wants us to remain stunted in our growth in the name of the Lord he wants us to stay in the same place that we were on January 4th of 2014 but you need to tell the devil on this Sunday morning that's a lie from the pit of hell the Lord wants me to advance the Lord wants me to elevate the Lord wants me to go higher I'm taking the limits off because I'm not carrying no excess baggage in the name I ain't paying for no luggage check for stuff that's in my trunk that don't belong there in the name but I'm gonna fly without any bags in the name of the Lord you need to praise the Lord in this place take those limits off and let the devil know I'm not gonna be entangled again with the yoke of bondage but today is the day to confront your limitations Jesus is our Lord and Savior oh glory to God and he didn't call us to be limited John 15 and 16 says Jesus said ye have not chosen me but I have chosen you and or you that sounds like he's trying to bless you uh, that you should go forth and bring forth fruit uh, you will not produce fruit uh, unless you get rid of the limits uh, oh glory to God uh, tell your neighbor I want to be fruitful uh, I want to be productive uh, in the name of the Lord uh, that the fruit that you uh, in the name of the Lord begin to grow it will remain uh, that whatsoever ye ask uh, has anybody asked God to do something brand new in 2015 uh, I dare you to give him a praise for it right now uh, because eventually we're going to see the fruit of your labor uh, oh glory to God Paul said uh, be ye steadfast uh, unmovable uh, always abounding in the work in the work in the work of the Lord uh, uncross your legs uh, uncross your arms 
arms and get ready to go to work. You might have said I couldn't do it because of limits. We'll take the limits off and try God because he will use you. Abide in the work of the Lord for as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain. Will you give God a praise because you're getting ready to make a new move in God. Confront your limitations now. Oh glory to God. 2015 is the year that you will be more than functional. Oh glory to God. You will have more than a position. You will have more than a title. But God is about to make a few of you effective. In the name of the Lord. Tell your neighbor get ready to be effective. Get ready to do something that's going to affect somebody's life positively. Get ready to make a deposit in somebody's life because you took the limits off of your mind. You took the limits off of your intellect. You took the limits off of your ability. Is anybody ready to use your talent, use your ability, use your gifting to the glory of God? Tell your neighbor, don't believe the lie that you won't be anything, but tell your neighbor that I am more than a conqueror through him that loves me. Don't believe the lie that you won't go any further than last year. You tell the devil, you take your lies in the name of the Lord and take them back to hell where you brought them from. But I embrace what God has said to me because it's in him that I live. It's in him that I move. It's in him that I have my being. Tell your neighbor, I'm alive. I refuse to be a bump on a log. I refuse to take up a pew. I refuse to just have a title. But this is my year to take the limits off. Oh, give God a praise. In this place, the chains of limits will be broken in 2015 oh you need to give God a praise in this place well Matthew tells us that the Lord hallelujah had to deal with a lunatic oh glory to God I know sometimes we use that word crazy oh glory to God but the word lunatic oh hallelujah dealt with a person that might have had epilepsy oh glory to God and epilepsy is when a person cannot have control over their bodily activities oh glory to God and the enemy wants to give us epilepsy in the spirit but I declare I'm taking off anything that will hinder my ability that's why you need to tell the devil I don't have epilepsy because I can lift my hands and I know you're mad I can pick up my feet and I know you're mad but Jesus had to deal with a man that had epilepsy this man would fall in the fire he would fall in the water he didn't know whether he wanted to be hot or cold oh glory to God but he was brought to disciples and they could not cure him but how many know that some folk have the power but they won't execute it the last time I checked Jesus gave the disciples the power over all manner of sickness and disease he gave them the power to cast out devils he gave them the power to lay hands on the sick and they would recover oh glory to God what's the sense of having power and the power remain dormant I want to preach to a few people in 2015 your power is about to come back your anointing is about to resurface we ain't gonna know who you are by February 1st because you have spent some time with God giving him your limits and the Lord said I give you the power to take the limits off is anybody ready to take the limits off take about 30 seconds and give God some glory you 
if you notice uh, uh, the people didn't bring uh, uh, the lunatic to Jesus uh, uh, but he brought the lunatic uh, uh, to the disciples uh, uh, in 2015 uh, we need some disciples uh, that ain't scared uh, we need some disciples uh, that aren't intimidated uh, we need some disciples uh, that are gonna put down their excuses uh, and pick up their anointing uh, and say if the lunatic uh, comes my way uh, I'm gonna cast the devil out I ain't calling on Bishop I ain't calling on Pastor Rob I'm gonna deal with the devil myself because some of you you got some devils in your family and you need to stop worrying and exercise the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus you got some folk on your block you need to call those things that be not as though they were you need to apply the blood on your street you are a disciple and these signs shall follow them that believe they shall lay hands on the sick they shall cast out devils they shall speak with new tongues if you're a disciple you gotta take the limits off and you gotta realize the power on the inside was downloaded from glory if you believe it give God a praise in this place Then the disciples, this is what I love about Jesus. Even when he calls you, he lets you know if you need me, I'll be there. You can make a mistake, but Jesus said, I'll be there. You can make a falter, but he'll say, I'll be there. You can mess up more than one time. And how many know that the Lord will show up and pull you out? They tattled on the disciples. They said he could not be cured by them. And they brought the disciples. Jesus answered and said, O oh, faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I suffer you? How long shall I put up with you? How long do I have to teach you for you to get it? How long do I got to preach on tithing to realize that there's a blessing in tithing? How long do I got to tell you to take off the limits? Well, I told you, hey, watch night service. I'm going to preach it. I'm light-skinned enough to turn blue in the face because I want to see you get your victory. I don't want to see you lost. I don't want to see you a week before the enemy I want you that when you begin to praise God that demons back up when you begin to call on God that demons say I ain't going to that address no more oh you need to give God a praise like you got some power but Jesus said he didn't speak to the disciples but he spoke to the devil and when you take the limits off you can talk to the devil any way you want to talk to him in the name of the Lord I come to tell you in 2015 don't tell no one to go to hell but Satan himself oh you ought to praise the Lord in here hallelujah yeah I'm preaching to the saints yes I am in the name of the Lord oh Pastor Rob you meddling I ain't tell nobody to go to hell but you thought it don't tell nobody to go to hell but Satan himself and the word of God says Jesus rebuked the devil and he departed out of him and the child was cured from that very hour then came the disciples to Jesus apart and see you're going to private they were embarrassed how many know that the devil his job is to embarrass you but tell the devil you got me that time but I'm coming back with no limits I'm coming back with the glory of God I'm coming back with the Holy Ghost I'm coming back with power tell somebody take the limits off in the name of the Lord I dare you let me digress for about 10 seconds I dare you in 2015 to take the limits off of your 
your praise. Take the limits off of your worship. Take the limits off of your thanksgiving and give God a praise that God has never seen before. He knew it was in you, but he's getting ready to show up. Take the limits off. is getting away from me but the Bible says they came apart and said why could we not cast him out and Jesus said unto them because of your limits oh glory to God because of your unbelief because and the word of God says for verily I say unto you if you have faith as the grain of a mustard seed ye shall say unto this mountain be thou removed say unto this mountain hence to yonder place is anybody ready to tell the mountain you gotta get out of my way you gotta tell every limit that looks like a mountain and tell the mountain hallelujah I'm a mountain climber but I can speak to the mountain and it'll go to yonder place give God a praise because the Bible says and nothing shall be impossible unto you I can't finish this message but there's somebody that's facing an impossibility that's your limit oh glory to God it look like the resources won't be there but God said take the limits off because I'm the God that created heaven and earth I'm the God that will make the darkness light before me I'm the God that will make the crooked straight I'm the God that will make the weak say that I'm strong I'm the God that will take what's empty and fill it up if you got a few limits just give God a praise and tell the devil enough is enough oh give God the glory give God the honor they had power but they were limited they had unbelief but the power was on the inside you tell the devil I got the power and you can't cancel God's plans in my life I come to tell you it's time to shut the devil down it's time to censor his voice that's why Jesus rebuked the devil are you ready to rebuke your limits are you ready to speak to your limits if you're ready jump to your feet and say here I am God you've anointed me I'm about to tell every devil to shut your face keep your mouth closed my God has given me power my God has given me favor if you believe it shout yeah No limits in 2015. Some of you, you need to come to God on this Sunday morning and tell him no limits. If you don't know who Jesus is, you need to come right now. Get out of your seat. Put down your excuses and look to the hills from which cometh your help. Your help coming from the Lord there's somebody that needs to be baptized there's somebody that needs to be filled with the Holy Ghost will you come right now and say Lord here I am I'm a sinner I need you to save me from the inside out I need you to heal my body I need you to turn my life around the Lord is saying take the limits off put down the excuses give God some glory give God some honor give God some praise are you ready to lay your cares at the altar the devil is saying you're gonna take the limits into next week but you tell the devil no 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 I'm gonna lay my burdens at the altar and leave them there does anybody got a burden on your heart that you need to give God I dare you to get out of your seat and tell the devil enough is enough I'm going to lay this burden down I'm going to lay this sickness down I'm going to lay this problem down because my God is a God of no limits you limited 
yourself. You've limited your family. You've limited yourself in your employment. you limited yourself in your education. But the Lord is saying, come now, all ye that are heavy laden, and I and I will give you rest for my yoke is easy and my burdens they are light hallelujah bring it to Jesus bring your limitations bring your mistakes bring your inadequacies bring your past bring your issues the devil is a lie the lunatic came to the disciples but when they brought him to Jesus they realized that Jesus he is the answer for the world today above him there's no other Jesus is the way this young man had enough boldness to step out of his seat y'all need to be praying right now because one that comes to the Lord the angels in heaven are rejoicing hallelujah you need to give God a praise for this brother because he had enough hallelujah tenacity I can tell enough is enough in the name of the Lord hallelujah minister Hanley bring him here in the name of Jesus hallelujah young man hallelujah stand him up oh glory to God it's altar call time y'all looking like y'all looking at a playoff game but I came to do business against the forces of hell that will try to stop you from getting where God wants you to be testify no limits testify I'm taking the limits off young man you've been coming to this church for quite some time look at me in the name of the Lord you've been coming for quite some time and I see your face when you hear the word and you know that God is speaking to you but I come to tell you this is your Sunday where you shift into your no limits lifestyle you put limits on yourself but the Lord is taking the limits off because he wants to use you he wants to clear your vision he wants to bless you from the inside out he wants to fill you with the Holy Ghost you are bold enough to get out of your seat and you need to tell the Lord I'm taking the limits off point your hands this way I'm not done yet if you want the Lord to bless you like he's never blessed you before you gotta give him your heart you gotta come before him transparent you gotta come before him saying Lord I'm done Lord forgive me Lord deliver me Lord turn me around Lord fix my problems from the inside out because you are not a curse you are a blessing you hear what I say you are not a curse you are a blessing the the Lord is gonna break you down this Sunday morning in the name of the Lord and you gonna praise him like you've never praised him before I declare if you give it to God he's gonna give you power from on high start praying Saints start praying for this man in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus open up your mouth and praise him Pray with them, Frank. No limits. No limits. No limits. No limits. No limits. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. No limits. I declare it in the name that.
that sits above every name. Come on, give God the praise. There's some of you, you're waiting for an answer. You're waiting for a phone call next week. But you've allowed limits to stunt your faith. And Jesus said, oh, faithless and perverse generation. But I come to tell you, our God is a God of second chances. Does anybody need a second chance? Does anybody need a third chance? Let me touch and agree with you. In the name of Jesus, the glory of God is in this house. The power of God is in this house. You've heard the testimonies. It's almost your turn. It's almost your time. The Lord is about to bring you to the front of the line. The Lord is about to change the order that you got to take the limits off. Jesus said this only comes through prayer and fasting. It's time for greater refuge to pray like we've never prayed before. You need to pray on Wednesday night. We need to come together and touch and agree. Some of y'all, you've been staying home and the Lord said if you pray and if you fast, miracles are going to take place. Pray in your secret closet, but pray with your neighbor. Pray with your pastor. Pray with your bishop. Pray with your family. Let your neighbor know I'm getting ready to call on God. When you don't pray, you've accepted the limits, but when you open up your mouth and call on God, the limits are about to come off. If you believe it, give God some praise. God said, we ain't praying enough. That's why the devil is walking all over us. But I dare a few people, you've been staying home on Wednesday night. Wednesday night should look like this morning. Let's make the devil a lie and come together and touch and agree in the spirit realm. I come to tell you, in 2015, for the first hour, I'm going to tell you what we're going to pray for. Just wait on me next Sunday in the first hour. We're going to touch and agree. In the second hour, the bishop of the house is going to pour into us. But we, the people of God, we got to stop staying home when we need to be here. Take the limits off. The disciples, they had the power, but they weren't praying. They weren't fasting. They weren't believing. They weren't trusting. But you tell the devil, you better watch out because I'm getting ready to call on God you better watch out because I'm getting ready to send a message to glory you better watch out because I'm getting ready to pray for my enemies you better watch out because I'm getting ready to pray for the people of God tell your neighbor pray 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 I come to tell you, if you don't pray, nothing's going to move. But when we begin to pray, God is going to move. When we get to pray, God is going to bless. When we get ready to pray, God is going to heal. Can you say pray? Pray! 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 I'm gonna tell you, your prayers are gonna take the limits off. Your prayers are gonna take the limits of a greater refuge temple. When we touch and agree, I know that the Lord, He's gonna be in the midst. If you want the God to show up, you got to pray. If you need a miracle, you got to pray. Can somebody say pray? Pray! tell you right now I know we got a five o'clock service but the Lord is leading me we got to demonstrate that we gonna pray like never before hallelujah
hallelujah I want to tell the people hallelujah we need to pray with one another so go find somebody that you don't really know that well and begin to pray for them it's easy to pray for those that you know real well but go in touch and find two people get in groups of threes bring your purse bring your wallet bring your tambourine but it's time to pray get together pray with one another y'all want me to give y'all an assignment it's time for our church to pray mom pray with Nikki in the name of the Lord it's time y'all pray for one another get in this circle and pray everybody touching and agreeing everybody come on it's time it's time to pray it's time to pray it's time to pray call on the Lord call on the Lord that the anointing will flow that the anointing will grow that the anointing will show pray 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 show up on Wednesday night and pray get on your face we're gonna pray pray against sickness pray against disease pray for the government pray for our leaders pray for one another pray for our enemies pray 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 everybody pray everybody call on the Lord everybody ask and it shall be given seek and we shall find knock and the door shall be opened the prayers the fervent and effectual prayer of a righteous man availeth much pray without ceasing pray in your mind pray in your spirit pray out loud yokes are being destroyed right now pray 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 don't stop praying the Lord is nigh don't stop praying he'll hear your cry don't stop praying don't stop praying don't stop praying the Lord has promised his word is true don't stop praying he'll answer you 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 you.
Jesus right now. Healing, deliverance, hallelujah, salvation, salvation. Jesus is our salvation. Jesus is our healing. Jesus. Pray. Pray. Pray, saints. The Lord is doing something in this atmosphere. He's mending relationships. He's mending relationships. He's tearing down the wall. Pray. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus. This is serious business. Keep praying. Keep praying. Keep praying. Impart a word into someone's life. Impart a word. Give them a word. Give them a word for this week. Give them a word. Tell them. Take the limits off. Take them off. Take them off. Take them off. Pray in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. There's too much in you to stay the way you are. There's too much in you, Sister Brown. In the name of oh, glory. Pray. It's your prayer life that's going to take you through. Pray. Prayer. Prayer is taking place. Prayer is taking place. This is no gimmick. Prayer is taking place. Prayer. Prayer. No limits. No limits. Prayer. Oh, glory to God. You know how to pray. In the name of Jesus. Oh, glory. Prayer. Come on, open up your mouth and pray. Come with me. Come with me. Guerrero, stand up. Brother and sister Guerrero, lay the baby on the pew if you can. In the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I come to tell you, you've been praying, but your prayers will not be held up. In the name of the Lord. What's complicated? The Lord is going to make it easy. Y'all need a reprieve right now. I don't know what I'm talking about, but I know I'm talking to something where you need a reprieve. And the Lord is going to give you a reprieve like air is let out of a balloon. Y'all better get ready. I want to lay.